All right, guys, so that's it for today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Um, this has been really unexpected and really stressful for us, but all of your support means a lot to us. Thank you for your prayers, um, and I'll be sure to update you guys tomorrow on um, the status of Rizal and his recovery. Thank you, Mabuhai Squad. Bye. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. All right, Mabuhai Squad. So I've got some promising news. So if you didn't watch yesterday's vlog, go check it out um, where I, I explained that our giant poodle Rizal contracted parvovirus even though he's been, he's had his shots, his parvo shots. And oh my gosh, such a nightmare situation where the vet took him in and medicated him for three days. And then all of a sudden they like, were like, hey, we've got a Christmas party today. Sorry, you need to take him home. Even though he was supposed to stay there for like five days to a week. So anyways, update, RJ picked him up with Kuya Roman and they brought him to another vet where he'll be staying. Um, and guys, good news, RJ says, Rizal is recovering. Um, and I said, how do you know? This is good. RJ said that the new vet had said that there's no more smell of Parvo. Apparently, Parvo has a smell. I didn't know this. Um, they could usually smell it, apparently. So the vet said, no smell of Parvo, so um, it's a good sign that Rizal is recovering from his Parvo. Yay, which is great. And furthermore, RJ says that if Rizal doesn't vomit tomorrow, we can take him home tomorrow. Uh, we just need to separate him for one week from the other dogs. Um, this is amazing, amazing news to hear. It was, this Parvo situation has been so scary. And guys, like honestly, if you have a dog, if you bring a new dog home, do not bring them out as, like don't, because if they haven't had their shots, all shots, Parvo, distemper, rabies, all of that, you should not be bringing them out because had Rizal not been vaccinated and he contracted this Parvo, who knows what could have happened. He probably would not have had the strength to fight the virus um, and the, the partial immunity, right? Parvovirus is always uh, apparently mutating. So even though your dog has been vaccinated, they could still get it. But the vaccine does help them fight it um, and it minimizes the uh, symptoms. Yay, this is so good. Mabuhai Squad, thank you so much for your prayers. Please continue to, to pray for Rizal. He is still battling it. Um, and I just, I can't wait to see him again. Hi, Mabuhai Squad, a brand new day. How are you guys doing? Did you sleep well? Hmm? So, uh, turns out Rizal is doing okay. He was able to eat on his own, yay. Um, and guys, he's coming home tomorrow. So we were advised he, we needed to separate him from the rest of the dogs. So look at what we built. This here is Rizal's, like we took plywood and completely blocked this entire sp spot off. There's also a bo plywood board there. And Rizal will just have to stay here uh, for a week. And you know, while he continues to recover, I guess, cause he could still be contagious um, afterward. Now, Rizal uh, is still a puppy. He's six months old, and apparently Parvo is the greatest danger to puppies. Um, once they're adults, they could still get it, but it's not as dangerous as when puppies get it. Like, when puppies get it, lethal. Um, but thankfully, Rizal was vaccinated. He's had his Parvo shots, right? So, um, guys, I think he's on the road to recovery. Thank God. Wow. Um, but yeah, so he'll have a big space to like live for now. He'll just have to sleep out here for now. He'll have to be an outdoor dog uh, for the next week. But yeah, so that's the news. Um, we're hopeful. Thank you, Mabuhai Squad, for all of your prayers. Um, they've truly helped. All right, guys, let's see our positive affirmation for Sunday, December the 12th. Obstacles on my path are really only adventures. There you go, guys. Hope you enjoy today's positive affirmation. Obstacles on my path are really only adventures. Here are the dogs. Yes, they're just hanging out in their little beds. <laughs> Cypher in his like Mercedes, Sahara and Coco. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, guys, look at this. Tinola. Ate Elsie cooked it. Filipino chicken soup. Mm -mm. There's like, what is that? What kind of leaves are those? Camote leaves, sweet potato leaves, and there's pepper in there. Oh, this looks so good. Gotta love home cooking. Guys, I really love this big mirror here by the kitchen. It's like pretty convenient. We could just check our outfits, etc. I like that before heading out the door. I like that. All right, guys, so I've been busy over the past two days editing this Ants Canada video, and I'm late again. It should have been uploaded yesterday night, but you know what? I've decided, Mabuhay Squad, that I'm no longer, gonna, for now, gonna promise Saturday 8 p.m. uploads because it's just getting harder and harder because, you know, like, especially moving in here this week and Rizal, that issue, and then plus, like, us building the house and having to travel back and forth. There's so much going on that at least for December and possibly January, it will just be free flow. <laughs> I'm gonna work as much as I can on each video and just upload it as soon as I can. Sometimes I might skip weeks, like last week I didn't upload on Ants Canada. You, usually I would beat myself up if I was late by like 10 minutes um, for our Saturday 8 p.m. or 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time uploads. But now I've just gotten to the point where it's like, you know what, until RJ and I assemble a production team again, it's just gonna have to be free flow for now. Sorry, AC family, love you guys so much. But um, I'm only one person. And again, like a couple weeks ago, I had a crash. I had one, you know what they call a creator burnout, where I was just so tired and I had lost, I guess, the motivation to, you know, work on the Ants Canada videos. Through all of November and the beginning of December, I put so much juice into the Ants Canada videos. And um, I, I feel like I kind of just need a semi break. Not really a break, but like a sort of a vacation. So instead of me rushing and scrambling and working through the night like I have been for the past, what, six years that I've been uploading consistently, I'm just gonna be more free flow and chillaxed. So. Sorry, AC family. But the great thing about taking my time with each video is I can make sure the videos are perfect. So I'm not like cutting corners or scrambling because in case you, any of you run a channel out there that is high prod and we upload regularly once a week, you guys know you, you have to have certain tricks for editing to cut corners, to like shorten your time. Um, and sometimes that means it might mean you have to sacrifice a little bit of the um, quality and I hate doing that I like taking my time on each video so again until we expand our editing team I think for now it's just gonna have to be I upload when I upload let's do this here let's see but good news is I love editing here like the sound somehow like bounces off the walls and it sounds really good like listen listen to this let's do this I removed the AC plug from one of the exit ports and connected the two. And done. The ants were now officially connected to Crimsonia. Let's watch. A little teaser for you. It didn't take long for an ant to get out. All right, I'm gonna get working, guys. The distance. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching another vlog and an update on our Rizalzis. I can't wait to bring him home tomorrow. That will be awesome. And um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Oh, there's laundry. Oh my gosh, let's go see the laundry, guys. I have not had a like laundry clothesline since I was a kid. Hi, Ate. <gasps> Oh, cool. Look, I, this is like Ed Mark's shirts. I can see, I can see. Awesome, all our towels. Oh, so cool. Reminds me of when I was a kid. Uh, that's awesome. Um, all these years that I've lived here, we've just had delivery laundry. Like here in the Philippines, they have laundry service where they come to your door and they pick up your laundry and then it comes back smelling fresh folded all wrapped up after three days that's what we've been doing like for all 10 years that i've lived here um but it's great to actually have our laundry done um here at home it's kind of neat and then mm, smells like the sun yes 
All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Love you so much. We'll see you tomorrow for another vlog. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this vlog and hit that subscribe button. Come join the Mabuhai squad because we will be your daily dose of positive vibes online. Oh, wait. Mabuhai squad. Looks like Kuya Roman picked something up. <gasps> I love it. Mabuhai squad. You will love what I'm looking at right now that just appeared in our backyard. Have a look.